Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can perform string concatenation in C programming. Before starting, you can note my information. You can follow or subscribe my YouTube channel through the URL youtube.com slash Sanjay Gupta underscore tech school. You can download my programming app TechMS, which is available on Google Play. Now coming on to the program. Here I am going to implement the solution of this problem in C programming. So first I am including a header file that is stdio.h. Then inside main function, I am declaring two character arrays. First size is 20 and second size is 10. So the string concatenation means I have to combine contents of S1 and S2 strings into a single string. So I will be combining contents of S1 and S2 strings into S1. So finally output will be displayed with the help of S1 string. Then I am declaring some variables i, j and c. Now first I am implementing printf which will display the message enter first string. To receive that string I am using getters. Now again with the help of printf I am going to display another message that is enter second string. To read that string I am again using getters and that string will be stored into S2. So after completion of reading process now first I have to move to the end of S1 string. So for that purpose I am applying this loop. I is initialized with 0 then S1 of I not equals to null and then I plus plus. With this I am incrementing C variable. So with the help of this for loop C will be moved to the last index of the uh, S1 string that is null position. Now I have to copy 0th index of S2 on null position of S1. So for that purpose I am applying another loop where I is initialized with C and J is initialized with 0. Then S2 of I sorry S2 of J not equals to null and then I plus plus and J plus plus. So with this loop I am going to copy contents of S2 at the end of S1 string. So for that purpose now I am using S1 of I equals to S2 of J. So with this copy statement contents of S2 string which is available on 0 index first time will be copied into S1 string at ith index and I is starting from C and C is containing the last location of the S1 string. So this way all the contents of S2 will be copied into S1 string. Now after completion of this loop I have to explicitly copy null character in S1 string because whenever we copy contents of a string into another null is not copied automatically. So for that purpose I am copying or writing this statement. Now I am going to display the output. So I am printing this message with the help of printf that is concatenated string equals to percent %s and s1 and then return 0. So with this way the output will be displayed on console. Now I am going to execute this program so that you can understand the output. So you can see it is asking for first string so I am entering Sanjay. It is asking for second string so I am entering Gupta. Now you can see the output concatenated string equals to Sanjay Gupta. So you can see output is displayed with the help of only S1 string. So S1 is now containing contents of both S1 and S2. So this is the process of concatenation of two strings in C programming. I hope you have understood how I have concatenated contents of two string into a single string. If you want to watch more programming related videos, you can follow or subscribe my YouTube channel through the URL youtube.com slash Sanjay Gupta underscore tech school. You can download my programming app TechMS which is available on Google Play. Thank you for watching this video.